Rudrabhata was an influential 12th century Kannada poet in the court of the Hoysala Empire king Veera Balala II. R. 1173 According to Kannada language expert Narasimacharya, the poet was also patronized by a minister of the king. The literary critic Mukherjee feels that after a century of literary revolution caused by the Virashaiva poets, a benevolent atmosphere created by the king may have encouraged this Vaishnava writer and poet. Magnum opus Rudrabhata was a Brahmin and a Smarta believer of monistic philosophy. Based on the Sanskrit classic Vishnu Purana, he wrote the epic Jagannatha Vijaya in the Shampu metrical form mixed prose verse. The epic Kavya a narrative poem describes the life of the Hindu god Krishna leading up to his fight with the demon Banasura. In this work, Rudrabhata envisions the Hindu gods Hari Vishnu, Hara Shiva and Brahma as one composite supreme deity Parabrahma who takes the form of the god Krishna an avatar of Vishnu. According to Dalal, Rudrabhata influenced later-day notable Kannada poets such as Kumaravyasa and Lakshmisha, and Haridasa Carnatic music composers such as Parandaradasa and Kanakadasa. The Kannada scholar L.S. Sheshajiri Rao feels Rudrabhata was essentially a poet for the learned classes. However, according to the literary critic Shiva Kumar, though Rudrabhata's form was ancient, his content is more medieval, making him a poet of transition in Kannada literature. Shiva Prakash and Dalal consider him adept at both the mainstream marga and the native desi styles of composition. Based on epigraphs from the period of Veera Balala II, the scholar Narasimacharya dates Jagannatha Vijaya to about 1180 CE according to the scholar Srikantaya. Based on internal evidence, the authorship of an important Sanskrit classic called Rasakalika is assignable to Rudrabhata. According to him, references made by the later day Kannada poet Salva 1550 CE in his writing Rasaratnakara gives the required evidence. Srikantaya feels the author of a Sanskrit book on love and aesthetics in poetry called Sringaradalaka, who goes by the same name, is not the Rudrabhata of the Hoysala court. According to Dalal, the author of Sringaradalaka belonged to the 10th century and also goes by the name Rudrata. According to Sankaranarayanan, Rudrabhata's Rasakalika played an important role in the development of Indian aesthetics. It was the source for poet Vidyanatha's work Pradaparudriya. The poet Vasudeva quotes from Rasakalika in his comments on the writing Karpormanjari by Rajasakara. He feels that today's scholars have not fully recognized the influence of Rudrabhata of the Hoysala court. See also Hoysala literature Kannada literature